To the gentleman from Wisconsin, a member of the Budget Committee, Mr. Ribble. The gentleman from Wisconsin is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Chairman Ryan, Ranking Member Van Hollen, for bringing this very important piece of legislation. Spending is run rampant in Washington, <clears throat> and it's because no is not a word that Congress is used to when it comes to spending. For too long, members have been able to take advantage of a system, spend taxpayer money on projects that have proved to be unnecessary and frivolous. There are far too many examples of spending absurdity to share today, but the fact is that needless projects are squandering away millions of dollars at a time when our country is facing a record $15 trillion debt. It's time to start changing the way Congress budgets and spends taxpayer money. And the line item veto is a positive step. I would contend to you it's not that we have too little, uh, it's not that we have too much oversight. Uh, it may be that we have too little oversight. By allowing the president to target unjustified spending and send it back to Congress for a vote, will increase accountability and make members think twice before they commit hardworking taxpayer dollars on some special interest project. I'm proud to be a co-sponsor of this bipartisan legislation and a sponsor of my own biennial budgeting bill, which will help fix Washington's broken budget process. The time for change is now, because we don't, if we don't strive to fundamentally fix this problem, not just some pretend fix, then it will be our children and grandchildren who will pay the price. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, I urge my colleagues to support this legislation, and I 